Hey fam, welcome back. In today's video, we have our reviews roundup for last week's Shop My Stash scavenger hunt brand, Flower Beauty. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on all the products we pulled during the Shop My Stash scavenger hunt, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. So if you're wondering if I fell into a vat of olive oil, I didn't. I'm just a dewy hoe. And these Flower Beauty products help me achieve such status. So let's get into my thoughts on these products. First product I want to talk about is the Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir Serum. This serum is super duper shiny, glowy, dewy, fabulous. And I really, really enjoy it. I have this today actually on my chest in addition to the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal setting spray. You just shake this up. It has some like little glittery properties in there. See, it looks a little bit milkier now. If I were to let this settle, all the shimmer will be on one end and then you will see a liquid on the bottom. When you shake it up, it distributes your glow. So I have that on my chest today to kind of try to match my face. And I am feeling super dewy and I'm not mad at it. So I really enjoy this product as someone with dry skin. I think it really does add a nice layer of moisture. If you struggle with dullness or you just want to add more dew, I think this is gorgeous under foundation as well. I do think if you have a very dewy foundation already, this can make that foundation break up or wear down a little bit faster. But for my dry skin, I really, really enjoy it. And in terms of the setting spray, I also really enjoy this product. It really adds a ton of shine. So if you are oily, you may not like this product unless you like to look super super duper dewy. I always look like a crusty dusty desert. So for me, dewy is definitely an upgrade. I really like the way that it's added so much shine even to my chest. I think this could be beautiful if you wanted to spray it on your body, if you have an event or just during this gorgeous summer season, if you have an occasion to go outside, <laughs> maybe to check the mail and you wanna look extra. I think this is a gorgeous body spray as well. So if you do have oily skin, I think you might love this as a body spray. I just don't know if I would use it on your face if you don't wanna look shiny. I briefly touched on the Light Illusion foundation in my Butterfly Kisses video. And I had this foundation in that video mixed with the Fenty Matte Foundation. I have it on my skin today without any mixture. I wanted to wear this one today on its own just so you could see what it looks like on my skin. In general, I would say that this little foundation is what my dear friend Nona of My So-Called Life 1978 would call a church foundation meaning you will probably get four hours of really beautiful skin out of this foundation before it starts to kind of break down. I noticed it looked really, really beautiful when I wore it, but about four hours in, I was noticing a lot of it had worn off my forehead, off of my cheeks. There was a lot of my natural redness coming through. It wears off in a very beautiful way, but it still kind of wears off. So by mixing it with the Fenty foundation, you're gonna have a lot more of a full coverage look than you will get from this foundation by itself. But the Fenty foundation does keep this one in place, which I do appreciate. But this is very beautiful on its own, especially if you do not need a foundation to last all day. If you are just going out, maybe out to dinner, I think it's fine. And I think if you do need it to last the entire day, I think mixing it with a more mattifying product like the Fenty Beauty Matte Foundation, you can get a lot more longevity out of this product. But it is really beautiful on its own, which is something to be aware of. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer is a beautiful, beautiful concealer. I really enjoy it. I think it looks very nice under my eyes. It really does cover up all of my dark circles. I have more mature under eyes, so it's, it's very hard for me to find a concealer that's not gonna crease on me in some way, shape, or form. But this one is a beautiful and affordable concealer, and I definitely enjoy it. It's one I reach for very often, and one I can definitely recommend. Based on the amount of usage I have gotten out of this product, this next one is probably my favorite product I've tried from Flower. It is their Light Illusion Pressed Powder. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. You can see the amount of pan I have in this bad boy. It is gorgeous on the skin. This is a definite repurchase for me. I do have some powder products I'd like to get through first, but I definitely, definitely wanna snag one to two more of these. I think you would love it if you haven't tried it. I do think it would work for both dry and oily skin types. It's so soft on the skin, it's blurring. It helps set your makeup in place, but not in a dusty or dry way. It's just gorgeous on the skin. Love this product. I also tried something a little bit different today that I've never tried before that I've wanted to try. And I have to say, I really, really like it. I tried a technique called underpainting, and that is where you begin on your face after your primer, moisturizer, whatever you use to prep your skin. 
you would go in with your cream face product. So your cream bronzer, your cream blush, cream highlighter, stuff like that, your concealer. You get all of those products situated the way that you want them and then you apply foundation, which seems so crazy, but it was so interesting. I heard Kelly Gooch talk about it. I recently watched a Samantha March video where she tried it. It is a beautiful technique and I definitely wanted to try my hand at it too. So today I actually did that. And I did that with a few products. The first being this Flower Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. This is a beautiful, beautiful product with some questionable packaging. I will say that. The formula to this bronzer is so fabulous. I used this to cream contour or cream bronze all over my face prior to going in with my foundation and powders and such. This formula is so beautiful. I love the tone of this bronzer. It's just warm enough to feel bronzy and summery without being too warm. It comes in this little dropper and it is just this beautiful, soft, moisturizing formula that is just gorgeous. It looks a little crazy on my skin, I'm sure but as a bronzer it is quite beautiful and very fun to play with the problem with this product is the component it is in because of the type of formula it is when you go to just push this back in regularly if you go in too quickly it will often push the product the air will force the product out of the bronzer and you get all of this mess that you see here like it dries in these little chunks and it, it just really can be a very messy, as you can see, a very messy product. So the component isn't the greatest. I don't think it's like the perfect vessel for this fantastic formula. Also, the dropper isn't always consistent at picking up products. Sometimes you have to really go in a couple times or just use the wand and kind of wipe it, which is not the most hygienic thing for a product like this, but that would be my complaint. The formula itself, I love. I think you will have so much fun using this if you pick it up, but that component situation is a little annoying and a little messy and a little gross. I also tried these little flower blush bombs. I believe I went in with the peachy one today. This one is in Nectar. I use this as my cream blush in the underpainting technique and just put this right over the bronzer in the areas I wanted to apply blush. These are fantastic. They are drugstore, they are affordable. They are way more affordable than like the Glossier version. I think these are fantastic. They come in beautiful colors. I think you would have a lot of fun with these too if you enjoy cream or liquid products. So after applying my cream bronzer, cream blush, my concealer, I went in with my foundation, which we've already talked about, and then I set it with the Flower Setting Powder, which we talked about. The next product I tried was the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous bronzer. So this is a powder bronzer. So now that I had my powder on, I wanted to just kind of go over the underpainting with my powder products. I originally didn't know if I liked this bronzer because the tone is just a little bit different. It's a lot like cooler toned, if you can even see. It's not really showing up on camera, but it's definitely a cooler toned bronzer. And I wasn't sure how I felt about that. I was like, this is a little weird, but the trick for me was changing my brush. So I have been bronzing with this Real Technique brush. It's kind of like a little tapered sort of shape. And I had just been buffing this in and I wasn't crazy about this bronzer using this brush. I just, it was looking very muddy on my skin. I wasn't sure like how much use I was gonna get out of it. But then I was watching a Robert Welsh video. And of course I've been learning so much from him. He is so wonderful. And he talked about using a smaller, more angled brush for bronzer. So I have this little one by Luxie and i used this today tapped it in and really was able to concentrate where i wanted that bronzer to go so much better i really like this because the other bronzer this guy is so much warmer that this one actually can serve kind of as a bronzer slash contour because of the cooler tone so now that i've tried it with a better brush thank you robert i like this so much better <laughs> and i really found that it looked flattering on my skin and not as off as i felt like the undertone might have been before so Definitely really enjoy this product. Just be warned, it is a cooler tone bronzer. It's not your typical warm tone. This is a luminous bronzer. It's got like these little, this little white marble through it, which gives it a bit of a sheen. So if you're not into bronzers with any kind of luminosity or sheen, it's not your typical matte, matte formula, but it's not a shimmery bronzer either. It just gives a nice like glow to the skin, which I'm totally here for. I also used my flower blushes, my little flower pot blushes, over my underpainting. So today I went in with this one. This is Peach Primrose and I'm wearing Warm Hibiscus in the Butterfly Kisses video. But I think this is a gorgeous formula. I love these little flower pot blushes. They're so pigmented. They go on so easily. They're not patchy. Super blendable. Fabulous. Highly recommend. 
All of these products are so gorgeous. I'm really, really happy. And last, but most certainly not least, we cannot not talk about this beautiful highlighting palette. This is probably one of my top 10 highlighting palettes in my collection. It is so stunning. I have often leaned more toward this champagne color, but I really focused on this light pink pretty much this whole week. The gold is also very pretty, but I kind of tend to stay in this range unless I'm doing like a gold look or something like that. But I love pink highlighters and I love champagne highlighters. I don't like anything too, too icy because I do have more of like a neutral pink undertone to my skin. So I find that pink highlighters just look a little bit more flattering on me than white highlighters. I love this. I mean, you can see how it just beams off my skin. I have a little bit here on my collarbones and of course I have it on my cheeks here on my nose and my lip, chin, a little bit here on my forehead, and it just really beams, but it looks so natural. It isn't really emphasizing texture as much as some other highlighters. I just think this formula is so beautiful, so beautiful. And they even have a deeper version of this if you have a skin tone deeper than mine. I love that there are different shade ranges for a more inclusive line. I do think they need to improve heavily on their foundation line. And I'm hoping that Drew will do that because it is a very beautiful foundation. So all in all, I would say formula wise, I was happy with all of these products, even the ones I wasn't sure I was gonna be happy with, like that bronzer. I've loved everything I've tried from Flower. I really, really love them. I'd love to try their Jungle Lights, I think it's called, eyeshadow palette. I know Spooky Lips and Fat Hips has raved about that one. I have not tried any lip products from Flower either, so I definitely need to try those as well. I'd love to know what products you've tried from Flower, especially if they're different than the ones I've shown you today that you've loved or haven't liked. I wanna hear all about it in the comments down below. My main issues with Flower were related to the components and the longevity of some of their products. But formula-wise, I think they all look really beautiful on the skin, especially if you like to look dewy, like I do. So I hope this was a helpful little reviews roundup for you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all so much. And until the next video, bye.